I've been working with epoxy resin for a few years and started keeping the drips from my silicone mats and the dried bits from the mixing cups, but why? It's because I'm a total craft supply hoarder and I see potential. I may not know what I'm gonna do with it at the time, but eventually an idea comes to me and today is the day. staring at this stuff for a while trying to figure out how I was going to cut it because my scissors were not working I decided to try my old coffee grinder now this is an old coffee grinder I bought a new one on Amazon Prime Day and it really worked like it it um, I can control how chunky I want it I can control how fine I want it now I am working in a well ventilated space because you know you don't want to breathe in those um, you know the little resin dust particles so I am working in a very very well ventilated space I've got the windows open I have my door open and I also have my fan going so I'm just picking through my resin scraps and picking out the colors that I want and then just grinding it up until I have enough enough in my little bowl and so this is what I have ended up with and now can you guess what I'm gonna make guess just guess Take a wild guess. But look how pretty this stuff is. It's almost like really, really, really chunky glitter. And it's sparkly and beautiful color. And I'm just putting enough down on my wood board until I make the shape that I want. And guess what I'm making? Guess, just take a wild guess. Yes, it's a Christmas tree. You win, yay, woohoo. <laughs> All kidding aside, I really, really love this. And just wait until you see the finished product. Now, the wood board that I'm using is just a scrap piece of wood that I had in my shed. It is um, it is a piece of pallet wood that I have sanded and cleaned. It's not dirty and, and junky. It's um, very similar to the wood that I use when I'm making my crushed glass Christmas trees. And this one is probably 10 inches tall and it's um, six inches wide. So now that I have my chunky, I'm gonna call it resin glitter, chunky resin glitter. I need to mix up my resin and I'm using KS Resin Liquidy Split. And because I don't know how much I'm gonna need, I did mix up about 40 milliliters in my cup. And if I've mixed a little too much, then I can always use it for another project, but I just wanna make sure I have enough in my cup. And because this is a beachy Christmas tree and I live at the beach, I'm gonna to have to add some shells. These are the little tiny shells that I've picked through and collected over the years from, from my beach. They are tiny, tiny, tiny. This is a beachy Christmas tree, so we gotta have some shells. And I'm using my stir stick to put the resin on top of the chunky resin glitter because I don't, I don't want to put too much on all at one time and have this stuff move around because it it is kind of um, flimsy and I just don't want to lose any of it. And I, I probably could could have put a layer of Mod Podge or a thin layer of resin down on the wood first to kind of hold that bottom layer on, but maybe I'll do that with the next one. But um, I don't know. Th this method worked worked pretty well. Now I wanted a trunk and uh, I'm using a piece of, it's like the inside part of a, um, a small conch shell. And I'm just taking a little bit of resin and using that as the glue. And this is fast set resin. So the resin itself is pretty thick and um, it works really well as a glue. And I'm putting a little dab of glue on the back of this resin, little resin sea turtle and that'll hold it too. And then I just am drizzling the, um, not the rest of it, I mixed up 40 milliliters, but I ended up using about 20 milliliters on top of, um, or on this tree. So 20 milliliters is what I used on this tree. And I don't know if that was too much or if it was not enough, but I mean, it worked in this case and it worked really well. I put this in my art show booth uh, along with my other crushed glass trees. And it really stood out because it's just, um, most of the trees that I had were, I did have a couple of um, ones that I made with 
the blue crushed glass, but most of the most of the crushed glass trees that I had were green. So this one really stood out. I'm definitely gonna be trying some more ideas with this chunky resin glitter because I have a lot of it. You saw how much I have. Um, anyway, thanks for watching. Um, I hope that you learned something new and um, you know, maybe give this a try. I don't know. I'm gonna be doing some other things, so uh, stay tuned. And if you have not subscribed, please subscribe. If you're already a subscriber, thank you so much. Bye, friends.